2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Welcome and happy holidays from 2K Sports. It's time for NBA action. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter David Aldridge. So for the Celtics, their last game a loss to the Timberwolves in Minnesota. You got to give them an A for effort. Just fell a little bit short in that one. Yeah, they were really close right there. Just couldn't string together a few key plays to help get them over the top for the win. And now the opening lineup for Boston. Out in the front court along with Tatum. Zach Levine is out there with Irving. And it's Brzingis in at the five, roaming the paint. Gonzalez, that's good. And that'll start us off already. You can feel the tension in this arena. Boy, I tell you, you're right. You can feel this one looking like it's going to be a tight one throughout. Jumps up. Rips down the breakaway slam. You got to love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And, you know, you're going to get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Now here's Tatum. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And Clark, some guys check the standings every morning. Others try to avoid it. What was your approach? Well, we were struggling as a team when I was playing, so the standings weren't that significant. Just trying to win games was my primary focus. But as I've watched players, I do know that the better the team is, typically the more guys are checking the standings to see what other teams of their ilk are doing in the league. And the first one drops. The potential that Tatum still possesses to get better is quite scary. I mean, this guy has done an awful lot in a very short time. He's a versatile forward with tremendous skills and a work ethic to match. And so Tatum nails them both. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. To the paint. Here's Gonzalez, and he jams it with authority. Well, LeBron James is clearly a tremendously talented passer. When a guy is open, he'll get him the ball. Brown against James, and it's off the back rim. No good. Now, there's an example of good defense beating good offense. Drills it from outside. And early on, they've been nearly perfect from the floor. Just the one miss here on their first five attempts. Here's Tatum. And slammed up by Tatum. Irving showing you he's a frame ahead of his opponent with that nice imagination on offense. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Thank you, Kevin. Well, I was able to catch up with the head coach yes, of the home team. We talked about which player was the biggest challenge tonight, and he quickly noted it was Jason Tatum. Coach said, any clean look from outside, and he'll drop it in. Mid-range, three, it doesn't matter. Getting a hand in his face is a must-do for us. So Tatum can't be allowed to slip away this time. Guys? Thank you, David. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Brown inside the line. The putback. Porzingis able to use that 7-6 wingspan to full effect, beating everybody to the board and then quickly cashing in. James looking around. Shoots over Brown. And it's James missing. Very surprising that he came away empty there, especially given room to operate. Here's Tatum. Nash with the block. And they'll keep possession. And the shot goes in from Chris Depps for Zingas. We're about three minutes into this first quarter. Speedy the pass to James. And the layup's good off the glass. Ron is somewhere in the neighborhood of about 260 LBs, and there's nothing extra there. So he can physically impose his will and flat out dominate near the rim. Outside Tatum. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Tatum's got seven points. 
Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Now here's James. Over in the corner, Lee. He lobs up the L.U. pass. An emphatic L.U. jam. Chemistry at its best. An unreal L.U. Yeah, you're right. The pass, the catch, the dunk. All of it perfect. And it all had to be because that's not nearly as easy as they made it appear. Tatum's gone two for five, shooting 40% from the field. Here. Nash's shot is off. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. You know, guys, I think he's got confidence to shoot it from anywhere, but he could have gotten a better one than that. The deep three from Porzingis. And Lee pulls it down. Nash outside. Passes it to Speedy. Beyond the arc. Rebound, Boston. Irving kicks to Levine. Pass to Persingas. Brown outside. Knocks it loose. Lee with the steal. James against Tatum. And there's the pass to Speedy. From deep three-point range, got a piece of it. He's certainly been cold this quarter, guys, but trying to shoot his way back into a groove. Irving with the bounce pass. Brown the pass to Levine. And here's Tatum for three. That's good, and it's Levine with the assist. He's got ten. Tatum aggressively looking for his shot now, preparing before the pass arrives. Pass to Lee. From deep. Here's Nash, and he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And the rebound and the follow show you what he is all about. Gritty and determined with the soft touch to match. At the line for one. Here's Irving, still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. That's tipped, and that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. Boston ball. With the All-Star game almost near, let's see how the East is shaking out. And, of course, Boston. And, and, you know, for Boston, they had a few critics coming into the season, and now I don't think they have any. This is a club ready to not only make a deep run, but possibly win it all. They do have the pieces in place for a title run, but the competition in the playoffs will be stiff. Now, here's Tatum. He's got 10. Here's Irving. Six to shoot. Goes up to the stripe. LeBron grabs the miss. And here's Nash outside. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Nash has got six. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Here's Tatum trying to get open as Irving. And Gonzalez pulls it down. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points. But the D is just enough to keep him out of rhythm. And he goes out of bounds. That one off for Zingas. Andrew Williams is checked in for the Celtics. Bryant comes in for Brown. Gonzalez passes to LeBron with nobody on him. He buries the jumper. And they've done the job on the offensive glass. I like the activity there, keeping the ball alive and creating some second-chance buckets. Now, here is Irving. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. It's a nine-point spread. Always going up for the alley-oop here. Yes, Throws good. down the alley-oop slam. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. And, you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that. 
if you're on that side of the scoreboard, and they are landing some haymakers now. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. Changes for Boston. Green, he's checked in for Jason Tatum. Smart comes in for Levine. And it's Pritchard in for Kyrie Irving. Passes it to Pritchard. They kick it out to Green. And they get it. And the rejection by James. Great anticipation that time from LeBron. He sees the shot forming and gets there to squat it down. Nash outside over Bryant. The shot by Nash, no good. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Yeah, I like the way they're setting the tone. Really playing with a lot of energy here at the start. Williams and Gonzalez pulls it down. Gonzalez has got his fifth rebound in this one. To the middle. Nash's shot is in. Nash has got his third basket of the night. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Now here's Smart. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Gonzalez passes to Lee. No good with the triple. Celtics trail by 13. Here's Pritchard. He with the block. On the wing, James. Pass to Speedy. There's the lob to the hoop. Really seizing the momentum of this game, but doing it with a methodical approach. And you know, that involves pounding it inside. Getting as many points as you can right at the rim. That demoralizes the team. Now a timeout called by Boston. Nice game. Great performance for Mr. Perfect. And he's been taking it to the rack all game. And they haven't been able to contain him. They have to put up better fight on the inside. Jumped in for Speedy. Celtics trail by 15. Here's Pritchard. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. The end of the drought. Offensive rebound. Rejected by Gonzalez. And a wide open look for Lee. A three pointer is right on target. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment that's his killer instinct just fanning the flame yeah i love the fact he doesn't play the score he just keeps coming attack mode he doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal now here's green yep it counts he does not lack for confidence he shouldn't i mean this guy's a dangerous score and he's got his first chance at the line here josh cruz checked in for now one plus the penalty two shots
One shot. Trying to add a few more points to their lead. And they should just stay with what they've been doing. Hayward outside. The pass to Drew. Here's Lee outside. Here's Gonzalez. Boom, he jams it straight down. Nothing soft about the putback there. And why chance it, right? Take the dunk if you've got it. Well, you know, if nobody's going to put a body on him, then that's going to be the result. Here's Pritchard. Rejected by Gonzalez. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear they're this dominating that area. Games. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. No hesitation at all on the alley oop. Saw his teammate with a path to the hoop and bang, lobbed it right up there for him to finish. And he was ready for it when he elevated and made the catch. Right. And he chose the conservative finish with the nice, easy layup, which was a good decision. And the pass there floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. And that's an alley-oop that'll be loop-to-loop -loop all day long on the highlight reel. Celtics trail by 17. Poked away. And stolen by Hayward. There's the three. Hits the three-point pop. Yeah, second chance points, a huge issue right now. They're getting steamrolled inside. Well, guys, nobody's boxing out. I mean, I could go out there and get an offensive rebound. They're just watching. Josh, and for the coaching staff, that's unacceptable. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Gonzalez. Yes. The six James picking up the assist. LeBron's got assist number five here tonight. 58 seconds left in the first quarter. And stolen by LeBron. It's stolen by Bryant. Nice ball movement by Boston. And he makes Robert that one. Williams. You know, still a raw talent, but Williams does have a reliable inside game that continues to get better. Green against James with the drive and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First personal foul, second team foul. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. LeBron James taking two shots. Free throw drops for James. Sometimes I think we take watching LeBron James for granted. I mean, no player in league history has been the best in the league for well over a decade. Extended greatness from the King in terms of championship finals appearances and any other measurable you want to use. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Here's Smart. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. He feeds it to Kaminsky. Back to Smart. A three ball. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Smart. Now into the lineup for your home team. Udonis Haslam. One item that stood out, their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking. And more importantly, it makes it really hard to defend. Walker surveying the floor. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Frank Kaminsky picks one up. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. Two shots.
think the first free throw is good. So he gets them both. We're at the end of the first quarter. And what a blowout already in this one. Delivering the blowout. And we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And guys, what's your take on the home team so far? Well, they use the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. And, you know, for them, guys, it's all about tempo. Keep the pressure on and do so as much as possible. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. On the floor for Boston. Frank Kaminsky is out there with Rob Williams. And there's Jackson. Then there's Smart. And it's Hughes in at the small forward. Now here's Walker. A 21-point lead, the biggest in the game. They get it back. Here's Drew. Williams with the block. The amazing thing about Williams, yeah, he, he can block shots inside, but he can also block shots out on the perimeter. His ability to play in space means he's more than just a rim protector. Doesn't care where you're shooting from. Now here's Hayward after the miss from Reggie Jackson. Livingston, that's good. And teams often try to slow down point guards with bigger defenders. But, Greg, you locked up without that edge. Now how'd you do it? Athleticism, Kevin, and a lot of design. Now, here's Smart. No points in the game yet for him. And for people who would like to see Smart take fewer threes, that mid-range J is a welcome sight. Now, here's Livingston, guarded by Smart. A word against Jackson, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. First yeah, the defender foul. all over. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. At the line for your home team. At the line for two. throw good from Hayward and some changes here for the Celtics. Zinkis he's checked in for Williams and it's Brown in for Marcus Smart. Both good from the line that time. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Outside Jackson. Brown feeling it out a bit. A pass to Porzingis. A bye to stuff the alley. Well, what an athlete Jaylen this Porzingis kid is. I tell you, you put the rock anywhere near him, and he's going to throw it down. Here's Walker. Porzingis with the block. And they'll get another chance. Drew passes to Livingston. Just five to shoot. Over Kaminsky. No good off the back of the rim. And it's Porzingis with the ball. He'll bring it up for Boston. Got it. 
for his fourth this field goal of the game on just five shots. Chris Stops did not get thrown off by the contact. He's just too big and long, too determined as well. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Oldham. Thank you for the baton, Kevin. Kyrie Irving, of course, marches to the beat of his own drum. At times, that might rub people the wrong way. But Kyrie says, I've learned lessons from it. That's the most beautiful and exciting part, just the growth. What I'm saying is, it's always been bigger than the game for me. And guys, we have to respect his willingness to go it alone. You do indeed, D.A. Thank you for that portrait. making some changes here. This could get even more out of hand if they continue to put up points. Wow, Kevin, what a performance we are seeing. James oh, and the tuck by LeBron. James throwing it down with that power dunk. You know, the defense can't allow him to get what he wants inside because that's easy pickings for LeBron. Now, oh, here's Brown. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Boy, that's finishing the defense there. He made a good effort on that possession defensively and then closed it out with the rebound. No good from Lee. Celtics trail by 21. Down low. Here's Tatum. And James pulls it down. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough. But that's how you win games. Now here's Jackson. And here's Tatum for three. Buries it from three-point range. For three. Tatum's got 13. It's first triple of the second quarter, third of the game. Here's Speedy, guarded by Jackson. Speedy the pass to Lee, and here is James. Wants to get it to Tatum and does. To the inside, here's Persingas. The rebound by Drew. Drew's got his fifth rebound in this one. Pass to Speedy. Lee outside, and they call an illegal screen. Yeah, another turnover there, but guys, overall, they've taken real good care of the basketball. Gonzalez is checked in for Drew. Zach Levine's checked in for the Celtics. Kyrie Irving comes in for Jackson. Celtics trail by 20. And here's Levine. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Boston again missing. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Good on the three-point shot. Not sure what the defense was thinking. I mean, you can't leave this guy open from deep. Now Irving. Outside Tatum for three. And Gonzalez pulls it down. Gonzalez has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Out to Lee from past the arc. Irving against James. Up and in for the basket. Number four. That makes him four for five now. I'm sorry. That's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. I'd agree with you. And I don't think they expected this one to be a game where they would get battered inside like they have. And here's Tatum for three. And Gonzalez pulls it down. Gonzalez has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. Now here's LeBron, and there it is for him. LeBron's got 12 points in the game. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. Irving passes to Persingas. Inside. Here's Tatum. They grab their own miss. 
They need this. Rejected by Gonzalez. James outside to the middle. Lee. And Lee with the stop. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. And guys, I like the fact that he chose the one hand tomahawk slam because you get a little higher when you go off one hand and one foot. A nice shot by Nash. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Irving with the ball. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And you know what? He's just not on his game. No doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. Left side, Brown. And no good. Good D by LeBron. Nash with no one around. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. James has got his eighth assist in the game. And here's Boston. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Pass to Speedy from outside the arc. Good on the triple. Speedy's got his third basket of the night right there. Yeah, he's shown terrific control of the pace and the rhythm of this offense. You know, numbers don't always tell the story, guys, but his assist totals do paint the picture here. I mean, he's got everybody involved. Lee gets the bucket. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Now, here is Irving. Brown outside. Lee against Levine. The Celtics need to get a shot off. And here's Brown outside. James with some nice D. He's been an absolute non-factor. Zero factor this game. Just a horrible performance from him. And he's going up for the alley -oop. And how about the communication between teammates on that alley -oop? And that's what you need to pull that thing off. Boy, both ends of that play, guys, were fantastic. Pass to Brown. Now the pass to Tatum. Trying to get something going. The shot is good off the backboard. Tatum's got 15. And Tatum doesn't let the defense get to him. He's not distracted or bothered. He's got excellent form, stays with his mechanics. Doesn't matter who's defending him. Here's Speedy. He's got 10, takes the three, and there's the call on Mr. Perfect. That's his first foul. Team changing it up here. Here's Pritchard. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Outside, green. And it's off from three-point range. Here's Walker. Takes it inside. Here's Gonzalez. And a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Well, once they Robert recognized Williams. the advantage they had inside, it Thomas made a lot of Bryant. sense just to continue to attack that area. So explosive around the basket. Williams, when the pass is on target, expect him to finish with the rim wrap. Now here's Gonzalez. He's got 18. And the shot goes in. Speedy's got 10 points now just in this quarter. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Outside, Levine. Going inside. Williams trying to break free. Levine can't hit. Here's Mitchell. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Now here's Bryant. Right side, Green. Back to Bryant. 
Five to shoot. Fires for three. That's tipped. And here's the break from deep three-point range. That shot is off. And it's Boston the other way. And one thing I liked in the first quarter was their aggressiveness to draw the contact, putting the defense on the defensive. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I think they need to continue to press that advantage. Uh, they've got to get back to that. Don't go away from that. It's been working so well for them. Stay with it. Now here's Green. Six points for him. Rejected by Gonzalez. Passes to Speedy. Gonzalez against Green. Gonzalez, that's good. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. The Celtics on offense. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Pass to Pritchard. Celtics passing it around. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. And here they come. Here's Mitchell. And Boston with the rebound. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Kicks it to Levine. It's Williams high post. Gonzalez on him. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Here's Sharp. And there's the drive. Green with the block. They recover it. Good work there as it goes. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. Delivering the blowout. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. Taking a look at this home squad. Kenny, how'd you feel about it? Well, it comes down to confidence. From the opening tip, these guys had that swag. They had the attitude that you can't beat us. We can only beat ourselves. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on Boston? They need to give more energy and effort on the board. So we barely dealt this one the Probably is they're getting bullied. I'm not sure if they have the players to change that. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. We're seeing a tremendous game for Mr. Perfect. Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. Yeah, he's got that locked-in look in his eyes tonight, and he's not going to start taking it easy. I think he's going to be going hard until that final whistle blows. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. LeBron James is out there with Nash. Then there's the Professor. Then there's Speedy, and it's Gonzalez in at the five down low. And for Boston. Out of the front court along with Tatum. Irving is out there with Zach Levine. And it's Brzingis in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And now, let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And guys, that block could really help change the momentum of this game. Now, here's Levine. No points in the game yet for him. Pass to Irving. Here's the three. Trains it from beyond the arc. Irving. Irving knocking down that three. Textbook form, too. Never rushes anything. Mechanics are efficient and effective. And more than one observer, Greg, has called Irving the most entertaining player in the game. What do you think? A lot of competition for that distinction. But Irving does some things that no one else can, at least at his level. And then you never know when he's going to give us a juicy sound. Incredible reverse throwdown. Excellent body control. And guys, I'd even go as far to say that was a punctuation dunk. Memorable. 
keep that one in the career highlight reel for sure. Outside Tatum. That three off the mark. Just one for four from the field. Not the way they wanted to start the second half. And Nash gets double team. And the rejection by Tatum. And how about the craftiness from Tatum? He plays smart, quick hands on defense, and able to block the shot. Now here's Irving. The pass to Brown. Outside Tatum. Clock at six. From deep. And Gonzalez pulls it down. Only 20% from the field to start this half. To me, it looks like their opponent may have made some nice adjustments. Lee against Porzingis. Here's Brown. And the rejection by James. It's just been a brutal outing for him. He still hasn't managed to make a shot. And the team is struggling because of it. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. And Coach knows it. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. Now here's Tatum. 15 points in the game. Over Nash. Boston again missing. Here's Gonzalez. And Boston with the rebound. Tatum's got five rebounds tonight. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Irving kicks to Levine. Outside Irving. Here's Tatum. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. Out to the right wing. Here's Gonzalez. Porzingis with the rebound. Porzingis has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Here's Irving. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Irving's got five points so far. Hey, defenders already have a lot to worry about with Tatum scoring. But he's making passes like that, too. Watch out. And Tatum pulls it down. And, you know, he's a threat from deep, no doubt about it. But it just has not been there for him tonight. You, you might want to change your game plan a little bit offensively. Goes up at the stripe. And good. And it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. And that's 15 points for Nash. Here's Boston now. Outside Tatum. Puts up a three. Rejected by Gonzalez. And I wouldn't put it past him, guys, to eventually start hitting those, given what he did in the first half. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. Now here's Tatum. He's got 15. He's been ice cold tonight. And, you know, you look at the scoreboard, guys, they really could have used this contribution. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. And, you know, the lead just keeps growing. I mean, this game is not going to get out of their grip. They're going to keep pulling away. Tatum with it, defended by Nash. Fires from deep. Tatum with another miss. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. And when it rains, it pours. Another jump shot tickles the twine. It's Brown on the wing. Up top, Porzingis. To the paint. To halt the run. And there's the nice way of by Irving. Irving's got seven now in this quarter. Hey, the skills of Kyrie are obvious, but what isn't so obvious is his underestimated strength. Brown against LeBron. It falls for his seventh bucket of the contest. He's seven for nine. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Here's Irving. And that one comes up a bit short. LeBron against Brown. James in the post. And a missed layup. 
And so Brown will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. And it's Jason Tatum with the foul. That's his first foul. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. No question about it. No flop there. That was a direct shot to the chest. And a whole new group out on the floor for the Celtics. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. And this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. Here's Speedy. 14 points for him. Lee outside. He kicks it to LeBron. Just five on the clock. Back to Lee from downtown. Offensive rebound. A second chance effort. And he lays it up and in. 16 points for Speedy. Just creating havoc for the opponents the last few games. Well, he's done it again right there on the offensive glass. I mean, it's a great stretch that he's having here. And boy, I really admire his energy. First, Clark, you know, road teams are accustomed to hostile crowds, but it can go too far. Players have been very vocal saying, respect the game and then respect us as human beings as well. And Kevin, I couldn't say it any better. It's that simple. It's not complicated. The right to say anything you want doesn't come with the purchase of a ticket. I think human dignity, common courtesy and respect supersedes whatever feelings you might have about a particular team or player and overrides whatever price you paid for your ticket. And, and Reggie Jackson, the former 24th pick by the Thunder, wasn't content to back up Westbrook. He basically forced his way out in search of a larger role. Both free throws good from Jackson. Now here's Lee. He's got 16. LeBron James on the wing. And he lobs it up toward the rim. And Lee with the stuff. And he pulls off the Houdini to bake that catch and slam it through. Stupendous alley-oop. And the crowd got their jaws dropped on that one. Total disbelief. Bryant rejected by Gonzalez. And James throws it down. I'll tell you what, even though he's a little older now, James still a force in transition. Smart deciding where to go with it. And Bryant kicks to Smart. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Smart's gone just one of five from the field. James, the pass to Nash. And finished off by Nash. Setting the table for his teammates, James. Enjoy sharing and passing the ball and getting others involved. I think more than any other aspect of his game. Now here's Jackson. And it's blocked. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain Celtics possession ball. here. Robert Williams is jacked in for the Celtics. Right side, Jackson. Shot clock at five. Down low. Here's Bryant. The rebound by Drew. Drew's got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Speedy. He's guarded by Williams. Drew passes to LeBron. Driving inside. And the dunk by James. Well, just relish and cherish what you're watching tonight, folks. LeBron James going off. We are witnessing greatness. Now here's Smart to end the run. The rebound by Drew. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. Lee passes to Speedy, Robert and the whistle Williams. blows. It's going to be on Robert first Williams. Foul. First team that's foul. his first foul. Coming on and the that's, floor it's Boston. close, but, you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. Yeah, and as quick as players are at this level, in this day and age, I mean, you've got to be perfect in your anticipation to draw the charge. John Walls checked in for Speedy. Pritchard, he's checked in for the Celtics. Drew passes to Walker. Kicks it to James. Here's Drew. He's guarded by Williams. 
Six on the shot clock. No good from Lee. Defense better watch out. They better be alert because this guy can make threes, as we saw in the first half. Right side, Bryant. Lob pass to Bryant, trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Hughes against Lee. And a miss there on the triple. They need to stop this run. You know what, Kev? I think it's time to switch some things up, either by Elijah going to your bench or with a different look defensively to disrupt their rhythm. And he's been passive today, but maybe that's what he needs to get him going because for them to be successful, he's got to be a little more selfish. Here's Wall after the basket by Boston. And the first shot of the night for him missing. Here's Pritchard. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. No good on that one. Walker with some nice D. And now the fast break. LeBron with the ball. Here's Lee. And Lee with the stuff. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Mitchell, he's checked in for James. And a change for the Celtics. Green's checked in. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. The free throw drops for Lee. There's a minute 47 left in the third quarter of the game. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Ryan passes to Green. Good on the bucket. Josh Green's got eight points. And I'll bet his percentage is pretty high from that range. And here's Wall. This is to Walker. Lee outside. Over Smart. Off the left rim and out. Here's Boston now. 109 left here in the third quarter. No coverage that time. Peyton Pritchard. Three. Pritchard's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Now Wall. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Uses the glass to finish the way. This is John Wall at his absolute best. In attack mode, going right to the rack. On the wing, Bryant. And Green now, top of the key. Back to Bryant. Good, as Green Bryant. picking up the assist. Assisted. Bryant's John got his second Green. bucket of the night. And, you know, passes like that go a long way. Terrific teamwork. We've got 28 seconds left in the third. Kept alive, Drew. The third shot of the possession finally falls for him. Drew's got his first two points of the night. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. you got to work harder on the glass. Here's Pritchard, covered by Wall. Bryant passes to Pritchard. His three-pointers off the mark. And as we conclude the third quarter, it's pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. Delivering the blowout. We'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and, and what a beautiful feat. For me, next to the big-time alley-oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet-looking NBA highlights. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. They've got Drew. ABC is out there with Mitch. And it's Wall, and it's Hayward in at the one. Elbow shot is on the way. 
That one a little long. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. Passes it to Pritchard. On the wing, Green. Pass to Kaminsky. Shot clock at six. Outside, Smart. Outside, Green. Shoots over Walker. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Hayward with the ball. Pass to Wall. Clark, we know injury prevention is a huge aspect for teams, and it seems like training staff hold a lot more weight the than they did the past. Boston. I think you're exactly right, Kevin. No doubt about it, and for good reason. I mean, the medical staffs include doctors and trainers and physiotherapists and the like, and they really have enhanced what goes into preparing players for their seasons throughout their careers and it's become more precise it's Ball better yet there are still going to be injuries but the treatment and care players get now i think team. is platinum level across the league we're just over a minute into this final quarter of play you know, at the end of the day, size does matter, especially on the glass. Here's Sharp. Here's Drew. Goes back up. That one misses. Williams with the defensive effort. Here's Boston now. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. To the inside, Richard, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First personal foul. It's going to be on First John Wall. Foul. Wow, wow. He got whacked on that one. Shooting Shouldn't be Boston. much debate there. Hayes Blatant the contact. Straightforward call. Simple. Two shots. That's on And the first one at the line is good. And Clark, you played in a very physical era. What do you think about the way fouls are called right now? I really don't have a problem with it, Kevin. I mean, some of the fouls that were allowed in years past, way back in the 70s and 80s, I mean, those were borderline flagrant three kind of fouls. The game was more physical, and it was accepted as such. But I don't know if that was necessarily good for the game. I think now, the way they have it set up, the, the way it's officiated as it relates to physicality and flagrant fouls, yeah, it may be a little bit too far the other way, but I think it's the right balance overall. And the foul called on ABC. First personal foul. That is his first foul Second of the game. Foul. Green passes to Pritchard. The Celtics working the ball around now. And the pass to Green. Down to five on the shot clock. Ball's not loose. And it'll be Boston as it goes out of bounds. Boston ball. possession. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Now here's Wall. Passes it to Nash. No good that time. And the Celtics going the other way now. Levine deciding where to go with it. Rejected by Walker. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Driving in, and he uses the glass on the layup. And finally, someone scores. 
<laughs> yeah, it's been a defensive battle to say the least, partner. Good to see at least somebody got the ball in the basket. Finally. Here's Pritchard. Up and in on the way. Pritchard's got four points in the quarter. You know, this has been a totally different half for him. He definitely looks more comfortable now, guys. Ball passes to Sharp. The 10-footer. Up again. It's good on the putback. Great job of crashing the offensive glass. He stayed with it. That's hard-nosed, tough basketball. Austin with the ball. Here in the fourth, they've allowed just four points. Driving the lane. Brzingis trying to get free. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike Shooting here in the second. Yeah, you know what? And I think they've just got to keep on two. keeping on. Keep drawing contact, attacking, getting to the line. That will certainly give them a chance to get back into the game. And he knocks down the first one. And Clark, the NBA is supporting those players who use their platform for change. In 2021, the NBA created the new Kareem Abdul-Jabbar Social Justice Award. Yeah, that sends a really powerful message because those who have followed the career of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, he was my idol as I was growing up, know that he not only performed at the highest level between the lines, but he has always been a voice and an activist for social justice, for education, for doing what's right and decent. His career outside of basketball clearly embodies what being about human rights is all about. So that's a really powerful message and one that I'm glad to see the NBA put forth. Here's Pritchard following the basket by LeBron James. Sinks that one from the post. And that's now 10 points for Perzingis. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent passing. Speedy the pass to James. Here's Gonzalez. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Gonzalez has got 30 points. Here's Pritchard. On the wing, Green. Off target from outside. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage play. The elite score, demonstrating once again how fast he can fill it up. Here's Pritchard. And for the first time in 2021... Clark, we had the full play-in tournament featuring the 7 through 10 seeds. What did you think of the new format? I really enjoyed it. I mean, again, part of it was we're coming out of a pandemic, and so we're starving for all things sports, and this added another level of excitement to, I think, the best game in the world, NBA basketball. He had Steph against LeBron and AD. Uh, so I think it was a pretty awesome result overall. Now here's Kaminsky. Outside for Jackson. Clock at six. Fires it up. Will not go. This is off the front eye. Inside. Gonzalez. That's good. Gonzalez has got 34. And they're really in a good position here, thanks in part to the way he's been able to score the basketball. Pritchard passes to Green. Kaminsky up top. Looking to end the run, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. foul. Fourth team foul. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. That's exactly Shooting when you need to be aggressive. Frank, you know that. I mean, another good shots. job, though, of drawing contact and getting to the free throw line. No good on that one. At seven feet tall with range, Frank the Tank is a great fit for the way the game is played today. The Celtics making a switch here. Hughes has checked in. <laughs> now.
That one misses. The Clark between the draft and free agency and big midseason trades, it feels like we rarely see the same team twice season to season. Yeah, guys move around quite a bit, more so than in the past, Kevin. I don't necessarily know if that's uh, good or bad. It's certainly different. I tend to lean towards guys staying in the same place longer. That would be my personal preference, but the landscape has shifted and changed, and uh, it's overall probably a positive thing for the players. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. You know, guys, no denying it's been a rough patch here. I think they've got to run whatever is best in their playbook to get a good shot. Now here's Jackson. Pass to Pritchard. Brzingis with the ball. Can they get it? That shot, no good. Here's Speedy. Let's it go with a three. Here's Nash. Banked in off the glass. Nash has got 25 points. Yes, yeah, second chance points again. A huge problem for this team. Boy, they're getting caught spectating. You can't be a watcher out there. They're letting rebound slip away. Everybody's got to get in there and fight for the ball. Here's Gonzalez. And Boston with the rebound. Here's Pritchard. Amazing how many players we're seeing come into the NBA, Clark, from all over the world right now. Well, it's truly a global game, Kevin, and give credit to former Commissioner David Stern and certainly Adam Silver and his staff. But the league is a global league. The star players have done a great job of promoting it as a worldwide game as well. Every year you get players from multiple continents, Asia, Africa, Europe, Australia. Basketball is, um, again, it's a global game, so it makes sense we'll see more players from all over the world in the NBA. And the action on hold, as it appears, there's been an injury. Yep, he's definitely in a bad way out there right now. Tough to see. Well, I mean, you really feel for him. I mean, and the, the entire team. Just, you got to hope for the best. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, this is why you build out your depth as best you can. I mean, you just never know when injuries might show up. Pass to Mitchell. Over Hughes. Here's Livingston. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass. Getting it done. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Knocked away. There's the pass to Mitchell. To the paint. Here's Drew. An easy two points on the layup. He wasn't able to get his name in the score sheet in the first half. But he looks like he's starting to find his comfort zone here. Jackson looking around. Passes it to Pritchard. Back to Jackson. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Persingas. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. Persingas has got four points this quarter. And here's Hayward. On the wing, Mitchell. The turnaround, rebounded by Kaminsky. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. Here's Pritchard, covered by Mitchell. Pritchard passes to Persingas. Here's Pritchard. The Celtics working the ball around now. Jacks up a three. The rebound by Drew. Drew's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Hayward against Kaminsky. And Hayward with the stuff. My goodness, he is such a great dunker. Greg, a high riser, no doubt about it. Nothing surprising about that, guys. We've come to expect plays like that from him. And still, they never get old. Here's Pritchard. The game. A three. That one doesn't go. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. And that goes out of bounds. The They'll keep the possession. Ball your home team. As Brian, he's in checked in for Brzingis. Oh. 
Here's Walker. Pass to Sharp. Livingston with it. Hayward outside. Sharp, the pass to Haslam. Five on the clock. Down low. And Hayward gets it to go on the assist by Haslam. Nine points for Speedy. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. Boston again missing. Not a bad look for him on that shot, but it just doesn't seem to be his night tonight. Back to Livingston. Makes it off the glass. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Jackson passes to Hughes. Back to Jackson. The Trey trains the three-pointer. The improved Three touch of Jackson, especially from range, now making him a multi-dimensional threat. There's 48 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Hayward. Picked him clean. And up the court come the Celtics on the break. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. Second He'll shoot two free throws. Foul. 15 foul. Oh, the, the officials are all At over the that. Line for the Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but shots. to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without fouling. Two shots. Relax on the first. First one falls for him. And so he hits both. There's 37 seconds left in the game. The pass to Walker. Over Kaminsky. It's tipped. And you know, at his size, Kaminsky should be blocking more shots. I'd like to see this effort every time. Six to shoot. Here's Livingston. That one off the back iron and out. Outside Jackson. And so the home crowd treated to a win. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. LeBron, a challenge for you tonight with your matchup. How much motivation do you get in a game like this one? My matchup is not an individual matchup. It's, it's us as a team trying to get better, and uh, we are able to hold court, so it's a good win for us. Well, man, I appreciate the time. Thanks, man. Congrats. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long, everyone.